Hey everybody, so I hosted my annual Melcon for my birthday weekend uh, of board gaming. And uh, I'm just kind of reviewing all the different games that we ended up playing uh, during the weekend. So the first game we got to the table on the Sunday was Wicked and Wise. Um, so Wicked and Wise, first of all, I want to point out for Tessa at least, uh, the publisher is also a voice on OFPG Voices, which I am as well. Um, and I didn't notice this well until after the game was done and I hadn't realized this was her game. And so... Um, it was really interesting. Um, now, with this game, it's a trick-taking game, and you're playing uh, on teams. So one of them, uh, one of the team player is, uh, I guess, the dragon. Um, you're the wicked. And the other one is the mouse uh, playing as the wise. And it's, it's a very interesting because you all get the same type of card. So you shuffle the cards. It's kind of all dealt to everybody. Um, if you're playing on the wicked side, you're looking at the number and the suit of that card. If you're playing as the wise side, as one of the mouse, then you're looking at the action on the bottom of the card to help support um, the dragon. And everybody plays cards. Now, the mouse uh, cannot win a trick. So it's only the wicked players that's going to win the trick, but depending on what the mouse has passed on, it can help or affect uh, the cards that are that are played. So the first time I played this, it didn't really go well for me just because very, you play in three rounds. And in the very first round, I drew a card because you have like these goals that you're trying to accomplish and you do share the goal with the with the other players. So I looked at the goal and it was to win the most trick. I was like, okay, perfect. Yeah, let's try to do that. So then I passed it on to the, to my partner who kind of looked at it. He's like, okay. He is like, cause the goal was not, he wasn't set up to make this goal work. Cause what I missed noticing is on the card is there's a symbol. So to win the most trick of a particular symbol. And I did have, like I might have had one card in my whole hand with this symbol on it and he had almost none and you don't communicate really other than this so he's passing and giving me all these opportunities to play these cards that I do not have um we never really recovered from from, from my mistake um I was like Oh, I see the symbol now. Um, but this is a really neat, really interesting game. Um, I think we played it twice. I can't remember. Like, I can't remember if we played it twice or if it's just felt like we played it twice because of the different rounds. Um, but it was a really neat, neat game. The cards are beautiful. Like, the little dragon that you kind of pass around the little dragon marker was super neat and it was interesting how you know the mouse plays so if you played one person as the wicked and the other one as a wise like and then you play again on the, on the other side like it's a whole different experience um it was a really neat spin on a trick taking um i mean i've played teach you which is a trick taking game where you play in team and you can kind of try to pass card that might be helpful to your partner uh, but this had a complete different feel to it definitely more colorful I'll say um, it, was, it was so much fun but don't, don't do what I did look at the whole card and notice the notice the symbols um, after we played this card my one friend ended up uh, going home and purchasing his own copy so you know that's always uh, a good indication of how great our game is so that was a game that we played at Malcon, Wicked and Wise. Bye, everybody.